Kenny, heat waves, we've had a few of those in the Bay Area as we take a live look from the top of the mark this morning over towards all those clouds kind of hanging out, just so you can see them with the little the mm -hmm. tops of the mountains kind of peeking through. Zoe, Nate just said it, heat wave, we're having a bit of one today. Yeah, a little bit of a heat wave is on the way, but you notice those clouds closer to the coast. That's going to keep us more comfortable. At least our coastal conditions inland area is not necessarily going to be that same story as we are not going to be seeing the influence of this onshore flow that we have been dealing with all week long. But in fact, it's going to be coming up from the northwest and it's actually the areas in red and yellow that you see closer to the North Bay can be gusting upwards of 35 miles an hour. So it's going to be pretty breezy along our North Bay communities, but then you head further south where you're not impacted necessarily necessarily by this onshore flow nearly as much and that's going to allow our high temperatures to be even warmer. But early this morning, let's just enjoy a quiet and a calm start to our day. Enjoy the fog that continues to roll in over the Golden Gate Bridge. Again, it is gorgeous out there. It's thick and it is going to continue to roll in really just for our coast. Further inland you go, you might just see a little bit of haze in the sky as there is a little bit of wildfire smoke in the higher elevations of the atmosphere, but it's not nearly enough to create even a spare the air alert, but it's something to keep your eye on. This afternoon, our biggest issue is going to be that heat safety where inland areas, the areas in red and the areas in orange do have that higher risk for heat related illness, but I have some good news. By as soon as tomorrow, look at how much that heat begins to back off as that onshore flow really begins to pick up. But today, again, the onshore flow is not going to be nearly as influential, so it's going to allow even some of our coastal communities to heat up a bit more. So even places further closer to the coast, like Daly City, 73 degrees this afternoon. That is definitely above average. San Francisco, 76, and even down into Half Moon Bay near 70 degrees. That is going to be a really nice beach day. Oakland mid 80s. That's still hot for this time of year, but then you head over the Oakland Hills where you are going to be dealing with that more excessive heat with temperatures getting above the triple digits. So those are all things to keep our eyes on as we step out this afternoon. But over the next seven days, things are going to change. We're kind of on a roller coaster ride when it comes to our temperatures today again is going to be the peak of the heat wave. We are at the top of the roller coaster by tomorrow. We'll come crashing down upper 80s returning this weekend. Plenty of sunshine as well. Inland might be seeing a bit more cloud coverage and wind closer to the coast. But by next week, we'll be looking at another return of these above average temperatures. So again, kind of that ping pong, that back and forth that will continue throughout the next couple of days. But today is the peak of the heat wave. Heat safety is going to be top priority. And if you do live inland, you might want to head on over to the coast where it is going to be a little bit cooler.